Manny Pacman Pacquiao. Hard left hand, straight on the button by Pacquiao. Down goes Barrera. He wants, or what his chances might be against Marco Antonio Barrera. Now they know as Pacquiao tries to go ahead and finish Barrera right here in the third round. And he's getting reckless, and Barrera takes advantage. What a fight. Pacquiao is striping Barrera with left hands. Marco's hanging in now. He's tasted the power. Survived this round, and Pacquiao runs out of gas a few rounds later. Pacquiao's got to be in trouble, but if this stays right here, by everything is great for Pacquiao at this stage right here. Straight left through the center. Perfect. Hard right, left to speed tonight. But Pacquiao's body punches set up another knockdown, and Lord Cole says no. it's not a knockdown. Their feet must have been tangled up. I'll tell you what, that was a hard left hand, and there's another one like. That looks like more of a knockdown. Yeah, because any blow that lands above the waist that causes a person to go down legally is a knockdown. Hey. Barrera gets the cut. Quite as much power in his weight class. But, but it brings a lot of speed. Hard left hand by Barrera. Backs Pacquiao up. Hard right hand by Barrera. Uppercut landing. Didn't manage to really hurt. Pacquiao giving Barrera momentary breathing space. Pacquiao lands a left hand. Barrera counters back with a left and a right. Big punches from Pacquiao, and again the power deficit. Show. Not time the rhythm and the movement of Pacquiao. The punches, and Pacquiao is smart. He's not really throwing hard punches in that case. I would try to go all out for a knockout. This he can't. Now minus 40 wouldn't hurt him. He can't. In the past. Big left hand again by Pacquiao. Barrera having trouble seeing out of his left eye. But I agree with you. I don't. Well, I'll tell you what, the, as big as he... Assaulting Marco Antonio Barrera, mugging him, and about to leave him in the gutter. Not coasting, he's not lighting it up like a... One of the highest regarded fighters in the world. He's an icon. One of the most, been one of the most entertaining fighters in the world. One of the most complete fighters in the world. Send him out for the 12th round, Manny. No. I don't care how proud he is. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. No, because Pac guy is not backing off. If you have a guy that was he's holding getting hurt. Up, Here comes Barrera's corner. Barrera's corner man is up on the apron. He's, he's gonna step into the ring. That's a good but he's fighting a very intelligent fight. He takes a straight left hand and a right hook from Pacquiao and seems intent on retaliating. This this has a makers of being a very interesting fight. Momentarily shocked. Oscar. Right here you see what surprised me and has been prevalent most effective punch. The little left hand lead of Manny's is he should right between the when he was, even though dangerous and destructive, largely a one note two. Jab, jab, straight left hand. His ability to fashion the first hand or the lead left hand, starting his offense with it, as he's doing there, shows how much he's progressed as a tactician. The one thing that you mean is very obvious. Oscar De La Hoya has very little head movement. There is only almost no height yes, difference yes, between right. them. And and Pacquiao is lands a photo. brilliant but, uppercut and he up cannot, the middle. To land something, you have to believe that. He just landed a good left hook to the body, built his back against him. There is a big swelling outside the left eye of Oscar De La Hoya. The right hand has never been a super destructive punch for De La Hoya. I asked Freddie Roach yesterday, in our meeting, I said, have you ever seen Oscar De La Hoya really hurt somebody with a right hand? And if Oscar's not going to, to you know, move his head and him so much, and, and even if he doesn't land his eyes, they keep pumping him. But good he doesn't body, jab enough. Good body shots there by Pacquiao. And if there was doubt coming in as to whether Pacquiao could unbeaten. I personally had expected, and perhaps more so than De La Hoya expected as well. When a lot of the experts... Good body shot by Oscar. Biggest punch of the fight for De La Hoya. Trajectory, that's why they call it a 45. 
straight left hand right up the pipe. If you ever see once again Manny Pacquiao shooting a straight left hand right down the pipe. Direct, and that's the kind of punch that's doing the damage to Oscar. But still, you would think against the so-called smaller man, we'd see something more. This fight's going to probably end up being stopped. Manny Pacquiao yeah. is annihilating Oscar De Loya. Yes. Yes. Who's looking Hard entirely shots. at Oscar? De Loya hasn't been down, but that may be the only thing that's keeping Weeks from stopping it. Pacquiao landing punch after punch, and it's not so much just the way he's landing them. The body language and position of De La Hoya's body is that of a man that's defeated. It's, it's passive. All right, Larry, you envisioned this one. Could you see Pacquiao against Margarito? No, and he himself says he's going back to 140. Tony Weeks has a tough decision in front of him. There's a lot of glory and a lot of money in Oscar Delaware's past, but he's getting beaten up here. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Let's, let's finish it. That's it. Let's go. Right it's over. Matty Pacquiao Oscar has beaten Oscar Delaware. To the audience was for him to create anxiety and pressure on Ma Manny. So Hatton wants to apply pressure. And I think he's doing just that. Hard right hand by Pacquiao. Allow Hatton to come forward, catch him on the way in. A key element of the game plan for Hatton, get Pacquiao against the ropes, just like that. With the right and the left. That, that, that punch missed. There's the right again landing. Ended up being a very wrestling type match also. Great right hand for Hatton, glazed across the face and of Hatton, Pacquiao. No, Hatton's face is already red. I thought Pacquiao landed the right hook. Work out, work out, work out. Punch, puncher. Nope, follows the jab with a hook, comes back with another jab. There's the straight left hand, and he landed it right on Hatton's chin. And down goes Hatton after he swings and misses with a left hook. Pacquiao was coming out of the neutral corner in a hurry. Lands another right hook. Pacquiao's hands are so back. Pacquiao's hands are blindingly fast. No opponent sees the punches coming. A very another perfect up. right hand for Pacquiao. Another right hook. Straight left hand. Pacquiao's landing at will. Hard left hand. Hatton has to hold on. Will Hatton make it out of the round? He's down for the second time. This is the brilliance of the Filipino slugger. Here's the first knockdown, Emmanuel. Right, right hook as he was coming, he never saw it. And what's amazing, to see him land a punch and then slip a punch all at the same time shows unbelievable coordination. And then Marquez, a counterpuncher, began to solve him. Hatton is not a counterpuncher. Hard left hand by Hatton. Ricky has decided to bite fire with fire. Just to try to smother this guy and get close. But the, the, the punch is still packed out. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Stunned Hatton and knocked him back. Look at the brilliant accuracy of Manny Pacquiao. Landing with both right and left hands. And then he closed down Pacquiao's left side. Hard right hand again by Pacquiao. Over past the zoo. Pacquiao's, Pacquiao's blinding speed that sets him apart. Ability to punch, maintain balance, which he used to couldn't do. And his head, head movement is And allowed himself to get a little wild. Now he goes back to more precision. What a straight left hand. And will Hatton make it up from this? Can he beat the count? Is that it? And Kenny Bellas says, no way. That is that. What an amazing knockout shot. That is the most spectacular one-punch shot of Manny Pacquiao's incredible career. Any fighter. And Take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is a perfect time. That was super slow yeah, motion. Yeah, and he never saw it. He was unconscious from the moment he caught that shot. Goes to the canvas in the proverbial heap. And there's the speed advantage for Pacquiao. Cotto will keep going there anyway. Good left hook by Miguel Cotto. Cotto just physically a bigger guy. Now Pacquiao starting to... He's going to punch so far. And he's going to see if Pacquiao can take his stuff. Pacquiao hits Cotto with a hard left hand. And another. And another. But Cotto can take the punch. He's not being knocked back. Good body shot by Cotto. Being slugging with him. Plus the footwork gets him into position oh, yeah. to he, land. He bounces off his top. Very good. He's rushing in. Manny landed a little right hook in there. Okay. And follows up by knocking Cotto. 
Pacquiao beating Cotto to the punch now. No blood. Three hard body shots for stop throwing. Cotto lands his jab. Now, when Pacquiao throws, Cotto goes into a little shell because of all the speed he's seen. That's managed rhythm to go in and out and punch on his Left toes. hook counter by Cotto landed. We've seen Cotto in these situations before, and he comes back. Pacquiao getting hit in recent fights. Uppercut yeah. snaps Pacquiao's head back. Remember. Great reflexes and time and waking scenes all over this that very few fighters can see. That's why he lands a lot. But he, even he landed it a few times. Because he can hurt you with punches and not even stand up punches. And, and when Cotto... Tactical retreat. Absolutely. Just as he was in the late rounds against Margarito. Decision to just box is yielding better results than, than the earlier firefight. But now Pacquiao's backing him off again. Got him against the ropes. Tries to end it with one big left. But Cotto backs into the corner. He's in big trouble now. The fight could end in a matter of seconds. Holding on. He can't, he can't, he can't hold this now. He can't see the punches coming. Trying to counter. Freddie's been pretty good at this. Huh? Might be. He said Pacquiao would still win. Pacquiao going to go in for the kill now. Pacquiao is looking for KO 11 right here. Cotto still fighting. Um, we're we're the end of the fight. Sure. You have to doubt he'll ever be great again. And Miguel Cotto's father, Miguel Cotto Sr., wanted to stop the fight and was talked out of it by the others in the corner, including head trainer Joe Santiago. Now Kenny Bayless does his duty. Now flirts with the corner there, then moves away. Now his back is against the ropes. Margarito tries to press the action. Pacquiao hits a flush with a big left hand. And then flurries. The marks begin to show on Margarito's face as he has a big red welt under his right eye. So Pacquiao can do that. Yeah, Margarito's saying that Pacquiao's not hurting him, but his face is telling a different story. Indeed. And Pacquiao's beginning to land with almost every punch. Pacquiao was a terrific, world-class, one-handed fighter. Margarito banging him against the ropes here, trying to get to Pacquiao's body to change the fight. Pacquiao fighting back with his back on the ropes. And here comes And he Manny. turns it around and bangs. Margarito viciously on the bad eye. And another one. Hits him again with the left. Margarito nods at him. Pacquiao hits him at will. Bang! Because that's his biggest factor, is fighting while he's tired. And he's blocking some of the punches, taking some. He took a big left hook to draw your own conclusions. I talked to Miguel earlier today. Miguel said this is going to be a very tough fight. As I was telling him, I thought that Pacquiao I had to edge. He said, man, he may have edge, but it's going to be a hard fight. Punch is a little better than a smaller guy. But a regular 140-pounder, I think man would have knocked out at this point. Unless somebody wants to stop the fight because of that right eye, which is grotesque. Yeah, I do what he does better than any boxer in the game. Let a guy miss, catch him with a punch, let him miss, hit him with a punch again. A lot of guys will let guys miss punches, but they don't take advantage of it the way that he does. Freddie Roach wanted to get the Texas State Athletic Commission to make Margarito shave off the beard, which probably they would have done. Pacquiao said, leave it there. I want to use it as a target. That's a fighter. Greatest offensive fighter of the era. Physically fatigued both. And this uh, what right a that he what a he he ready to right. go. That's one of the biggest tabs. Of didn't see yeah. it coming. That was a right hook from Pacquiao. Yeah. Another measure of redemption for Margarito. Even though he's the villain with the hand wraps, hopelessly behind and no, getting no counted. hand movement at all. Pacquiao oh, looking towards the ref, asking him to stop the fight at this point, it looks to me. Landed a shot, looked towards. He's out being out punched, but the referee has to wait a few more seconds before the shot. Emmanuel, he's rearranging Margarito's face. If the referee stopped, there wouldn't be any complaint, but I just don't think he's going to stop it as take goes. 
I it's really not it's, 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 goal. it's a, a solid target. He's not moving his head. I honestly wonder whether Pacquiao has no more stomach for the punishment. Then he took the fight. Hard to say because yeah. he's fighting such different guys a bigger every guy. time out, and they're all so big. Yeah. And we're done. Jim, your prediction was right.